the process that I've been using for getting iPhone footage, specifically iPhone 13, 12, HDR, edited in Premiere. Um, so first things first, you're gonna bring your footage into Premiere however you like. Uh, I'll just use the file structure here. So once you get the clips, they're all blown out. In this case, verticals of uh, prompts and want to use them for social media. So right away, just extremely blown out. And that's the H HDR uh, from the phone, from iPhone. So what we want to do first of all is highlight everything, right click, modify, interpret footage, and then you'll get this pop up. You can use this for some frame rate stuff, but right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to color management, color space override, and click Rec 709. When you click okay, you'll notice everything kind of becomes seemingly properly exposed. Then the issue is just getting it to look any good. It's very washed out flat, looks kind of like log footage. So I'm gonna go into basic correction. Um, first of all, I want the color back. So I'm gonna crank the vibrance, bring the saturation all the way up. Skin tone becomes the problem. So then I'm just going to go into there and see if I can get a good auto. Uh, not very good. Bring the blues, purple, there we go. Pretty rough, um, but it's in a much better place than that. And for sure in a much better place than extremely overblown. So hope that was helpful. Um, let me know if you have any questions. You can of course, you know, do anything with a grade from here. And we bring, bring down the highlights just a touch. But that is a much better place uh, than before and usable uh, as opposed to crazy overblown.